Fossil fuels just aren't working. We're doing to this planet something that this planet wasn't designed for. Civilization needs a new energy technology. LENR, I think, is probably the most viable technology. It's not cold fusion. It's not a chemical reaction. It's a reaction of certain metals, nickel, palladium, with hydrogen. We have patented a control system that actually starts and stops the reaction when you need it to. This is the breakthrough that this technology has needed for the last 25 years. If we succeed in our number one goal of making this technology actually work on any commercial type of basis, it would change the conversation about how we make energy. They had done an experiment with an electrolytic cell using a palladium cathode, and I thought, palladium, there's something interesting about palladium. One of the engineers I was working with said, they use that to filter hydrogen. I said, helium won't go through, and he said, no, helium won't go through. Well, turns out that helium is actually about half the size of hydrogen. And then I remembered, oh yeah, they use palladium for the proton exchange membrane and fuel cells on the Apollo missions. That's when I said, I know what's going on, and if nobody's done it in 10 years, I'll build a reactor myself. And I started really moving in the direction of figuring out exactly what it was going to take to implement the physics that actually drives the underlying reaction so that the phenomena could be controlled and turned into a technology. Brillouin Energy has assembled a team of multidiscipline engineers and scientists to work on low-cost, non-carbon-based energy. We bring pressures, gases, temperatures, heat transfer. We bring all of that together in one machine so that we can accurately measure excess power. It's a combination of quantum mechanics and uncertainty relative to energy and the hydrogen passing through is causing the formation of neutrons and then it's an accumulation of neutrons. Pieces of the hypothesis have been simulated at Pacific Northwest National Labs and shows that electron capture actually can be driven. What's critical is to be able to control the reaction, to be able to turn it on and be able to turn it off. That then makes something that can be commercially useful. We've developed an ability to actually control the reaction with our Q-Pulse technology. By doing that, then we're able to uh, consistently produce an excess amount of heat. Brillona Energy has two products which will compete against carbon-based fuels. One we refer to as the wet boiler, which is designed for hydronic heating, home heating, and domestic hot water. The other product is an HHT, a hydrogen hot tube, which is designed for commercial applications for generating electricity. What is currently an R&D stage will become uh, much more of a go-to-market, direct business rollout of our technology. Finding a renewable energy source, a source that can be used in the future by society and the world, would be great for everybody. It's very clear that it's possible to bring a technology to market and really make a game-changing difference for everybody on the planet.